Hello friends, this is Music Man from his Man Cave, and I am going to give my review of Man of Steel. Now the reason I'm going to give my review is because I have watched a lot of people giving their reviews, and I am surprised by the negative feedback this movie has gotten. I mean, I was right there when I, the first Superman came out in 1978, sitting at the drive-in. I loved the movie. It was fantastic. And then I loved Superman 2. I thought it was great. Now, you'll notice in my reviews that there will be no profanity. Um, there will be no... Uh, hopefully, I'll just tell you the things... Uh, I'll try to limit spoilers, but there may be a little bit of spoilers. But hopefully, I'll give you a warning before I'm about to, to give a spoiler. And uh, by the way, Happy Father's Day. Uh, since it's Father's Day, this is my very first review. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I didn't talk about Superman 3 or 4 because I don't think they really fit into my Superman universe. Uh, but I will talk about Man of Steel today and I want to share with you my feelings on the movie. Well, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, right from the very beginning, from the first frame, it grabbed me and it would not let go. I loved seeing Krypton was not the planet Hoth, that it was actually a real planet, and there was flying creatures there, and that Superman's mom, uh, you know, she gave birth, and this cool story that he's the only baby that's been born um, on this planet for years, because now they do some kind of Matrix bubble babies thing that like they did in that movie, and I thought that was kind of creepy. And so um, that was really cool to see uh, the planet Krypton. And then they move on from there, and um, I really thought it was great to see the backstory. You know, he doesn't really want to embrace being Superman yet, because his dad, who had some insight, said that if they know there's an alien on Earth, people are going to get freaked out. They're not going to like it. And he was absolutely correct. Uh, how would the military respond? Well, they're going to start trying to figure out who this guy is, and they're going to start tracking him down. And um, that's what pursues in the movie. So in this, Superman, more than ever, you can see that he is like a Christ figure. You can see that he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. He he hasn't found his place in this world. He He wants to... He's got two fathers that are they're they're inputting into his life, and he doesn't know how this is all going to work out, and and he knows uh, that uh, something's coming, something big's coming, and he's going to have to make some big choices. So guess what? This is not a spoiler, because anyone that's on this doesn't live under a rock knows that this is true. Here comes an alien race that survived Krypton because they were in the going to the Phantom Zone in their spaceship. Um, so here's the Kryptonians show up, and he has to make a decision. Does he go with his people, or does he side with these pathetic, puny humans? Well, there's a reason Jarrell sent him to Earth, and uh, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. Well, uh, there are a lot of, of Christ figure at analogies here um, as you watch the movie. You'll see where he's sitting and he decides to go talk to a man of God, and there's Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane behind him, and a cross behind him. You'll see where his, his dad says, you can save these people, and he spreads out his arms as he leaves the spaceship. And so here you go, uh, uh, really Christ-like. Um, now, I will say that uh, this is truly a PG-13 movie. Um, as the movie goes toward the end, uh, there's highly stylized Zack Snyder kind of violence in it. I mean, uh, sometimes you can't tell what's going on because of the shaky camera, but uh, it's, uh, it's it's really violent. And, um, and, it, and it has three violent sequences that just escalate in violence. And, um, and, uh, and I won't tell you how it ends because you have to make your determination. I don't understand people getting upset about this. But anyway... Uh, from a Christian standpoint of the movie, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Also, from a Superman fan. Uh, you can tell I'm a Superman fan. I love Superman. I got Superman up here, and I got him with a black suit, and 
Um, uh, Superman, I got all the movies. I even liked Superman Returns, even though it had almost no action. And now this movie has a lot of action, and people are complaining, it has too much action. Well, I don't understand what they want. I like Zack Snyder's new vision of Superman. I don't really see a lot of Christopher Nolan in here. Um, the Dark Knight series, I enjoyed it, but it was very gritty and very dark. I didn't sense that was this dark. As for uh, saying there's no joy in the movie, there's lots of joy in this movie. But would you be... It's not about Superman just being a giddy Clark Kent. It's about him finding himself. So I don't understand why they're not finding the joy there. Um, I did have a sense of joy... Uh, watching this movie and uh, I took my wife to this movie I took my two daughters to this movie and and my brother-in-law and his family went to this movie and we all enjoyed it so Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 58 percent um, I give it about a 9.5 out of 10 I think it is one of the greatest Superman movies made since the first one first two were made those I see as really one movie uh, kind of a Richard Donner, Lester combination movie, a uh, one long movie. Um, they were made about at the same time. And so um, just let me know what you think. Uh, this is my first review. I will be giving um, uh, reviews with a kind of a Christian perspective. I'm not looking to be really divisive. I'm not going to really cover a lot of rated R movies because I don't really go to them. Um, if I uh, watch a trailer and I can sense the movie is going to be really inappropriate for me to watch, I'm not going to see it. But I will let you know um, if a movie is worth going to the movie theater, if I think it is, or if I think it's worth renting on Blu-ray or DVD. So, this is Music Man and his Man Cave, signing off. Talk to you later.